Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to learn about the element of art, value. So value is the lightness or darkness of a color. So how a light, how a light source shines on an object will determine how bright an area might be, the value it is, or even how the shadows will be affected on the object, so where the cast shadows might lay. We're going to dive in and explore some drawings and look at a value scale, and we're also going to make an artwork. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. Make sure you head on over to the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT to find hundreds and hundreds of art lesson plans and resources that you can use in your classroom. They're all easy to use, kid-friendly, engaging, and fully prepped so you can say bye-bye to the stress and hello to success. Now let's head on in to this episode. Look at a value scale. So a value scale is a tool that artists use to determine uh, a variety of values or lights and darks within a color. So for instance, you could do a grayscale that is all varieties of values of gray, starting with black, getting lighter into gray, and eventually becoming white. This is a gray value scale, a tool that artists use to determine varieties of values within an artwork, which help them create realism. You can also do value scales for different colors. If you ever go to a paint store and you go to go buy some paint for your house, you'll often see those paint swatches on the wall. And really, a lot of them are just value scales where you get a lighter version and a darker version of that paint color for your house. Isn't that cool? Colors can be modified um, by adding either white, gray, or black to them. So if we have a color or a hue, color or hue, we can add white to a color to make a tint, which would make a lighter version of that color. If we add gray to a color, so color plus gray, we would make a tone. And if we were to add black to a color, it's going to make a darker version of that color. And that is called a shade, so a color plus black is a shade. And we can also make those colors or varieties with adding, mixing other colors in color theory. But those are how we create our tint, our tone, and our shade. And this, of course, is our value scale. So we're going to go ahead and practice creating a variety of values, both in a drawing, and then we're going to make an artwork to explore the element of art value in depth. So let's head on over to the art studio and make some art. All right, we're gonna do some shapes and then we're gonna shade with some pencil. So we're gonna draw two shapes. We're gonna be drawing a pyramid and a rectangular prism. So we're gonna draw our pyramid first. We're gonna draw one line down. And then we're gonna draw one line to each side, two diagonal lines, but they're gonna be shorter than the front line. And then all we gotta do is connect the bottoms. Next we're gonna do a rectangular prism. So we're gonna draw one, two, three, four dots. Oops, that one should be lower. To make a diamond. And then we're gonna connect. The dots to make that diamond. Now we're gonna do something similar like we did with the pyramid. We're gonna draw one line down the front here. That will determine the height. And then we'll add these two lines, but they're going to be shorter. Connect the bottom. 
And then we're gonna determine our light source. We're gonna put a sun on the top right of our paper and add our horizon line. Horizon line. The edge of the earth. So our light source is coming in this way, which means our cast shadows will be the opposite way. So we're gonna make the shape on the ground going the opposite way. So these will be the cast shadows. So let's grab our pencil and let's get shading. So we're gonna do our darkest value on this side where the sun is not hitting and creating a light source. We're also gonna add a cast shadow on the ground, so we'll color that in dark. Do on this side a medium value, so I'm not going to press as hard. Light, light value, barely touch. And up here, barely touch. Just ignore my little mistake there. Okay, and just like that, your shapes are done. All right, let's do our butterfly watercolor painting. We're gonna do a simple butterfly and then we're going to alter the value, make it monochromatic, so one color, but we'll have varieties of value using a color, white and black, to create a tint and a shade. We'll add a head with an oval. Zigzag lines. To make the body with a big U. For the rest of the body, two lines up, wave it back in and up, and a curve for the bottom. Across the body, we can add an eye, and an antennas, and a smile. Nice and simple. 
But we need to add some designs on the wings. So you can add whatever designs you want. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other. Let's paint it in. Where's my watercolor brush? Okay, I'm gonna dip my brush in water. I'm gonna pick one color, and you pick your own color for your butterfly. I'm gonna do purple, but again, you do your own. And now I'm gonna paint the pure hue, or just the color, full intensity for the head. And I'm also every second stripe. Okay, now I'm gonna mix the color with a little bit of black, pour it on the paper, and now it's a purple shade or a dark purple. I wanna use that color this part, the fuzzy part, and every second stripe. Okay, now let's use that pure hue again. We'll paint some of the items on either side. farther so if it's getting a little dry just add a little bit more water. Then go on to the next one. Whatever I do on one side I do on the other. That's symmetry and
just like that. Your butterfly is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.